This one node right here will change your shaders forever, and let me tell you why. You see, here at the Comfy Mug channel, we make a lot of different shaders, and from a visual standpoint, they look pretty great for the most part. But because we edit the normals to get a different look than just the regular BSDF, the moment you have to rotate an object, the light is always locked into place. Now, I've been using Blender for seven years, and I just thought that the only way to get around this was to rotate the object in edit mode, making the origin point, which basically controls the way shaders perceive light, stay facing the same direction. But this becomes an impossibility when you have instanced assets that can't be rotated in edit mode, and especially when animating characters. Which leads me to the saving grace of all shaders, which will give you total rotational freedom, and that is the Vector Transform node. But before I tell you how to set that up properly, let me tell you about this special giveaway that you can enter for a chance to win one of my asset packs for free. You see, I make a variety of stylized assets with custom models and shaders, and all you have to do to enter a chance to win one of these asset packs of your choosing is to leave a like, comment on the video, and become a free member over on Patreon with your same YouTube username so that if you do win, I'll be able to send you the asset pack. I'll be picking three winners at random after this video has been up for 72 hours, so make sure to enter for a chance to win, and check out the description for more details on the rules and rewards. Best of luck to you all, and with that, let's get back to the video. Now, like I said before, I've been using Blender for seven years, and I've never heard of this node before, so chances are you haven't either. But a few weeks ago, one of my subscribers asked me if I'd use it on stream, and oh boy, this node is just... You know what I'm saying? With this node, light locking is gone. You can rotate your objects any way you want, and it makes every shader kit bashing and animation friendly. And all you need to do to set it up is just plug it in right before the normal of your diffuse, or any other BSDF. Make sure it's set to vector. Vector! Change the convert from to object, and convert to to world, and boom, your life has been changed forever. Now let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below if you heard of this node before or if your mind is now blown. Make sure to enter the giveaway for your chance to win an asset pack of your choosing from the Comfy Mug Shop. You can check out all the asset packs I've ever made with the link in the description below, courtesy of my lovely patrons who make this channel possible, especially my Elder Mug members. I can't thank you enough for all your continued support. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end, and if you want to learn some great techniques for painterly and stylized shaders, then you can check out this video right here.